them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be born with a fire. But he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death. And he shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down, turtle, thou shall kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of the people. He had uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear is iniquity. This is the word of God, dear people of Pittsburgh. You may laugh, you may reject, it's your choice because you are free. You have a freedom from God, but remember, for every step of your life, one day you'll ask for before the God Almighty. For everything we did and will do, we respond to God. And remember that only Jesus Christ, who is the Lord and only the way to be saved, could cover us and help us and cleanse us and wash us when he died on the cross by taking our sins on himself. He spread his precious blood, which could only wash us from all our sins. And you need the blood of Jesus to be clean, but you need us to open your heart and repent and change your life by asking Lord of his mercy and grace upon your life because the King Almighty is returning and a great judgment going to be on a new world and a great judgment going to be in America because God going to judge this country and all the buildings you see here now going to be destroyed because God will punish people for their sin. God will punish us. But today is a day of grace. Today is a day of mercy. Where we could come to the Lord and open our hearts and repent and change our life and start to live differently according to the word of God, which is a pure word of God, which is a lie and an eternal life. Because the Word of God speaks about God and about His only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ. About the plan of salvation He fulfilled little more than 2,000 years ago for you and for me. The Lamb of God was slaughtered for you and for me. Because we are the sinners. I pray that God gave you wisdom. To think about your soul, where are you going to go after this life? You know, you perfectly know that one day your life on this earth is going to be terminated. Where are you going to go? Who are you going to meet? Sure you will meet God because the Bible says after this life is a judgment. But everyone, everyone who believes in Lord Jesus Christ is not going to be judged because Jesus Christ already died for our sins and he rose for our sanctification. This is the gospel, the good news for all people on this earth. We are a human being. We are full of the sin. All earth, unfortunately, is full of sin. But only Jesus Christ can help and wash us no other ways of salvation. No other ways of salvation. We have only one way and a name and answer in Jesus. Yeshua, the Jewish Messiah, Lord Jesus Christ, is the way, is the truth, is the life. 